Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the 900, my Battletech Flashpoint series. So today we're going to take on a couple more missions, hopefully. Uh, we were able to pull off a couple missions last episode. Um, a one and a half skull and a one skull mission. Got a few mech parts, nothing nothing amazing. We did take a bit of internal damage, so we did have to advance the day counter a bit to get some repairs done, on our, on our spe specifically on our Vindicator. So we're going to go straight to the contracts, I think, today. We got our mech warriors raised up in skills a little bit, so we're gonna go right to dead or alive today. Take this one and a half skull. If we do take, end up taking a bit of damage on this one, what we'll do is we'll move to the next planet. Uh, I don't want to waste time for our half skull missions, so we'll move to the next next planet. We might take corporate se secrets and get a free ride there, but we'll have to see what that uh, where Rockwellian is. I'm not sure what that is yet. So let's do dead or alive today, and we're gonna go to evade salvage again. The extra couple parts are uh, really not going to make that much difference. Once again, if you check it out, it's either 50,000 or 173, so we're making an extra 120,000 by doing it this way, which I think is probably a little better. Um, we're getting our funds up here too, it's another thing we need to work on doing because we're going to need to have a nice little nest egg once we start getting our second lance up and running. So let's accept this. And we're going to go with the same lance and deploy and get this done. All right, here we go. I was worried there for a second I wasn't going to be able to get to the surface. It uh, crashed on me coming down here, so had to restart, but uh, everything looks fine. It always makes me wor worried playing Iron Man after that uh, first uh, failure there where I can't get back into my old game. So, all right. Looks like we don't have an extra reinforcements here, so it's probably the boss and one lance of mechs. So there's a couple ways we can do this. We know this guy tries to escape over here. So we could come around this way and attack him on this side. Um, or we could just not shoot at him until the end. Which I think probably that's what we're going to do, depending on what he is. So we can utilize our terrain here, I think, a little better. Um, I know this rock becomes integral. So let's just... Yeah, if this was uh, Rogue Tech, I would approach it a little different. But I think we're just going to move in here. Definitely going to need the trees in this one. Let's move forward. So not bad evasion. So I haven't spotted anything yet. So um, let's do this. You. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I know. Thank you. There's a locust there. Let's get you here. Let's get you here. And let's get our spider... Um, I'm going to be too far forward here, I don't think. Let's get down to the water so we can see what this guy is. Okay, we got a commando, a locust. So he's moving first. One V, I think, is the machine guns and two... Sorry, uh, two machine guns and one medium laser. I'm thinking. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So we're going to reserve. I want to see what these guys do. I also want to find out if that main mech moves in, if he's a medium or not. Chances are it probably is. Another locust. Is that a V? What was that one? S. Commando 2D. Okay. And we're going to reserve again. Oh, they got another guy somewhere. Here we go. Okay, so let's reserve again. So that leader is probably a medium mech. Yep. Relatively quick. Okay, LRM-5. Could be a Griffin. Could be Shadowhawk. I don't know. Find out in a minute here. So... Okay. How do I want to tackle this now? Let's give these light mechs on the left here a bit of a pasting. So let's jump back here. Um, actually, let's hang on for a second. Let's get 900 foot into... So the mud gives us... Gain 50% stability damage reduction from all attacks. 
So we can stay stable in here. That's about it. Um, I don't want to open with him though. Waiting for orders. Let's go this route. That's going to bring us under fire from the guy back there if he's got long range weapons. So if we go here, 35%, not very good. So let's just let's just start this off. Let's move back here. Move into position. And we'll fire this and we're going to just do probably just the four mediums for now. On target. Wow, two hits, nice. And a head hit too. Excellent. Okay, Ripley. We're going to do the same thing. Can okay, move back. We're going to target Moving this guy. Up. Fire all four. Affirmative. Wow. Okay. Now I think we want to move back and use the PPC and stuff on this guy. So let's do that. Let's dump everything on this guy. All weapons committed. There goes the right leg. Knock down. Okay, let's get Rover back. I don't, well, we can get to a point where we can shoot him. So let's get into here. Can't get him from here, can I, now? Let's get into here. Engaging jump jet. We'll have some good um, evasion. So let's fire at him. Let's try for this torso. If we shoot the torso off, that could be it for him. Ah, oh, really? Really? That's a miss. I can see that. Okay, you get a shot at him next turn. Eh. Alright, what else do we got here? Commando's got to come forward. We're going to reserve again. So we want to stay out of the range of that medium mech as long as we can. Uh, I mean, if he's plinking us with the LRM-5, that's fine. I don't mind that. But I don't want to get into direct line of sight until at least half of these guys are down. There's another locust. So I'm not worried about locusts. It's no big deal. Okay, so... Let's start off... He's got five chevrons of evasion, too. Um, 75%. Let's jump over here. Make them worried about a flank attack. We're going to fire on this guy. We're going to just use one medium laser. Hopefully take that torso. We got it. That should be it, I think. Yep. Okay, so he's down. So there's a few mech parts there. Excellent. Now I think we want to give this guy up front a bit of a pasting. He's only got uh, two chevrons of evasion. Yeah, feel free to pot shot from back there. That's what I'm... So I don't have a lot of evasion. Okay, Weasel. Um, let's just give this guy a good uh, how do you do here. Want to get a little bit more evasive, so let's move in here. Get some protection from this rock. And fire everything, well at least four medium lasers on this guy. Not bad. And let's move Rippy down do the same thing. I want to keep, make sure my torso is turned to this uh, guy over here. Firing on this guy. Come on, blow him up. There we go. So that's him gone. And I don't know how evasive this guy is now. So let's move Jesus. 35% chance. I mean, we could. Let's go take a look at what we can do to this commando. We can get eyes on now too. I think we're safe now. Relatively safe. So we got eyes on. What do we got here? Kentaro. Okay, interesting. Lots of SRM6s. We're gonna fire on this guy. We're gonna fire everything. All weapons committed. Eh. 
All right, that's enough. So the Kentaro is going to overheat real fast. I've only got one Chevron Invasion, which is going to be a problem. So we're going to have to jump in, and we're going to have to push that Kentaro back a turn, I think. So the first order of business, for Rover, I think we want to push this guy back a turn, thank you. So let's get over here. Uh, we're not going to be able to fire if we jump that far. So we're not going to be able to do anything to that guy, I don't think. So let's just focus on the Locust then, with this guy. And we'll shoot on him. Fire straight into his back. Well, I hope it's his back. Well, not shooting at anything, I guess. Yeah, I saw that. Wow, he's coming right over here. Not really the brightest move in the world. Okay, Ripley. Order. Gonna do this. I copy. And we're gonna do this. Everything I've got. Ouch. Hostile eliminated. Goodbye. Don't do it, guys. Stand Just by. don't do it. Oh, God. If I move the Jenner in, Jenner's got almost no armor. I'm going to have to take the hits on the Vindicator, I think. And he will go after the Vindicator, that's for damn sure. Let's move into here. On the move. And we're going to fire on the Commando. Taking the shot. Oh, nice shooting. Inflicted some heavy damage. Now, did he have missiles in that arm? I think he did. Yeah, this guy's going to overheat real fast. Depends on how, how aggressive he wants to be. Wow, that's that what you're going to do? That's exactly what you're going to do, really. So he's got the SRM-6 and a medium laser left. Okay. So, they're going to be going again in a second here. Okay, I'm going to do this. And what we're going to do, now that we've cleared out the right side, um, what's he got here in his torsos? 30 and 5. So we're going to multi-target. We're going to fire on this guy and this guy. And we're going to put the missiles to B. And maybe we take out that torso. Engaging multiple targets. Primary target damage. Nice. Ah, uh, not quite. All right, let's see what he does. So the next move is moving the spider in to push that Kentaro back a turn. We're going to leave the Jenner to finish up this commando, I think. I'm taking heavy hits, I saw that. Relax, I think you're okay. I'm going to have to fix you in a few minutes. We're going to be leaving this planet um, after a few missions. So let's get Rover down. Uh, we're just going to walk it in. And we are going to do our precision strike. I like to call it an offensive push, but we're going to do that. We're going to shoot for... Do I want to just kill this guy real fast? Probably. So let's go for a CT hit. Nope. So there's there's the secret, guys. If you want to get a, if you want to get a leg hit, go for the CT. And if you want to get a, a torso hit, um, go for the leg. So there you go. So we can fire three here, so let's do that. Roger that. I should take that torso. Yeah. Reporting critical hit. Okay. He's still got two weapons though. Um What's up, boss? I think I want to move my Panther back over here. And we're going to finish up this commando. I don't want him firing next turn, so let's fire everything on him. That should do it, I think. Yeah, there we go. Smoked him. 
Okay, so let's move our commando. This is uh, this is the target that I want this guy to shoot at. So I mean, sorry, my vindicator. We're gonna move the vindicator over here. I'm gonna make sure our left torso is facing him, so our left arm is facing him, and we're gonna fire our weapons straight on him. Oh, nice! We got the leg again. So we may be able to maximize salvage if we can take this leg off him. It will definitely stop him from leaving. Wow, he's really not shooting any of his weapons. Light damage. Holding firm. Okay, now we can put everything on him. So, once again, I want to get Rover at a distance. I don't want to close with him. Rolling. If he gets those SRM-6s rolling, we're in trouble. So we're going to fire on this guy. going to go for a leg shot. We're doing a precision strike to push him back again. We want to make sure our medium mech goes before him. And let's get yeah, Weasel jumping here and we're gonna dump everything into him again yeah not really likely I guess let's go with the SRM4 for a bit more stability damage Got it. oh that's four hits nice not a lot of stability damage but a little bit okay Ripley um, let's get we can't get very far can we let's get over here I'm going to keep our left side to turn to as much as possible and I want to try for a precision strike on this leg I think maybe we do if we do that ah, we're running pretty low let's save it to push him back a turn so we're just going to fire on him weaken him a little bit I want to get our vindicator now moving this way and let's go into the forest, see if he fires on us again. We're the least evasive, so chances are that's what he's going to do. And we're going to fire straight on this guy. Going to leave our medium laser off. Okay, there's a, a second leg hit on the other side. Nice. He's still moving that way. Oh, he's closing the gap. Nope. Okay, perfect. He's trying for the water. Okay, so Rover, going to stay at distance once again, and going to push him back a turn, try for the leg again. This should be good. Okay, one leg hit, nice. And let's get Ripley next, around to this side. There we go. Targeting the side, going to fire everything. Okay, another leg hit. Nice. Oh, what's up, now the question is, what do I want to do here? You can't stay close to him. How much back armor does this guy have? It's actually not that bad. So we're going to keep the pressure up. We're going to move back at the same time. Going to fire on him. What can we use here? Let's go with four mediums. Armor. Okay, another leg hit. Excellent. We're going to try and double leg this guy, I think. So, let's get Jesus up here. And we're going to put two shots into his side. 26 left there, 47. So let's just fire. Engaging target. Okay, there's a left torso for one injury. And a bit more damage in that leg, it looked like. So, we're going to try and target the leg again. Yikes! Okay, you need to get out of there. Commander? Let's get over here. I know I, I really should not be this close to him. But I need to get in front of him. So I can get a chance to take that far leg. Ah, uh, we can't take the far leg. Didn't get far enough. Okay, we're going to try on the shots on this one then. Okay, one hit. It's not bad out of two. I'll accept that. Since we're having a hard time hitting these legs anyway. 18 left on the one side. 65. Okay, so Ripley. Let's get in closer. 
Definitely not an optimal firing range, but we are going to fire everything on them. We don't have any. We don't have any precision strike left, so this is pretty much it. Okay, we're going to wait for Weasel. I want to see what Jesus does here. So let's get a little closer. Let's hope for the PPC like it. Let's just hope for it. Nope. Right arm. Okay. Okay, Weasel. So what are we up against here, Weasel? So it's your right side that's damaged. Significantly. So do I try and follow this up with an attack here? And keep the left side, hopefully knock him down? Probably. If we're going to do this, let's go all out. So we're way overheated. Gonna fire this. Okay, that looked like one leg hit. Surprised this guy's not panicking. Oh, nice. So let's finish this up, Weasel. Oh, okay, we do have a chance for an offensive push. So we're gonna move back over here. I know we're turning our wrong torso, but this guy's going down this turn. 10 left, 61 there, 48 there. So let's do a precision strike on this guy's leg. Um, let's go with what we can. Copy that. There's the leg. Ah, too much to the center. Damn it. Enemy down. I wasn't expecting you to hit with all those. It's my fault. All right, 20, 20, 216,000. We got a Kentaro part. Excellent. Jenner's taken some internal structure damage. We are definitely going to need to repair that. But other than that, we made out pretty good. So let's take that Kentaro part, definitely. What do we got down here? Anything that's in, of any value? SRM 6, maybe? Um, not really. Maybe take another Commando part, since we've got a fair number of them already. So let's take those guys. We only got two parts, medium lasers. Oh, not bad. All right, so we don't really have enough time to pull off another mission today, unless it's super quick. But I think really what I want to do now is let's have a look at our mech bays. I want to adjust our mech slightly. Um, we're going to repair the Jenner. So let's go to refit first. I'm seriously concerned with how low armor this thing's got. So I want to pull out the SRM4 since we're really heat inefficient. Um... We're going to repair the internal structure, and we're going to max out the armor as best we can here. So let's have a quick look here. I want to see what we have. Okay. I want to max out the arms if we can. I know we're over. Just give me a second here. Okay. Still don't have all that much. I want to keep the jump jets, I think. One, two, one, two. Hmm. So we've got a little bit left here. Fifty in each leg is probably enough, but I'm thinking that the torsos probably need a little more each. So we're going to go this route, I think. That's going to make me a little more confident to get, engage in combat with this guy. Heat sinking is a little better. I mean, 40 and 48 and 30. So there's not much we can do heat sinking wise unless we pull up the jump jets. But I think that's probably the best way to go. So let's confirm this. It's two days. So the Vindicator. Let's refit this guy. I'm liking the PPC. But the thing about the PPC is it's it's seven tons for 35 heat. I, I look at it heat wise, um, whereas the large lasers um, five tons for 18 heat. It's far more efficient because that means we can squeak in more weapons. So we're going to pull out the PPC and drop in a large laser. Um, we're super heat efficient still, so I'm thinking we're going to drop in a couple more medium lasers. So our heat sinking is taking a massive hit. However. Um, at range, we still have the LRM and the large, and then we can use the mediums as we get in closer. Um, 
The other thing too is we could pull out this, the last jump jet, but I don't want to do that. So I'm thinking this is probably, unless we swap out, let's say we pull out a medium. What do we got here for heat sinking now? Yeah, we're almost heat neutral. Um, we do have small lasers we could drop in just in case. As point blank weapons in case people get close. So maybe we'll do that as well. We don't have any points to do that. We do have a head point for it. One on this side. If we want to do it though, I think maybe we'll get more advantage out of heat sinks. So let's drop another heat sink in. And we'll go this route, I think. So our heat sinking is almost neutral. We've increased our damage by 15. Um, and actually spreading out the large and the medium um, means if that if we miss with one, we still have a chance to hit with the other. Rather than the PPC, it's either all or nothing. So we're going to go this route. Let's confirm this. Right. I'll get it in the skin. Uh, the spider. Let's refit this guy. So I like the jump on him, but I'm thinking that the armor that we've got is just not enough. So we're going to pull off two heat sinks. And give us an extra ton of armor. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think we'll do that. Um, that just means that he's going to have a lot more survivability and close. Um, we don't really have anything else we can drop on him, so we're going to leave this. Let's confirm it. And the Panther, I think, is operating perfectly. So we don't have to do anything to that. So we're going to be going 18 days into the and just past our next financial report. So we're going to look for a system. We're going to go to navigation here real quick. Looking for a system that's about 18 days away. So this is 11. Maybe we should work our way to Torian Concordia. I don't know. 19 days. Pirate Presence, Rocky World. That's one and a half skull. That's a long way away. We've we been here yet? Rockwellen. So there is a contract here that we could take. It's 12 days. It's one and a half skull as well. So the mission, I think, is one skull? It is. So we're going to take this one. We're going to head over there. We're going to negotiate this. We're going to go full salvage. Accept it. And we'll wait six days once we get there. So I'm hoping they have good, you know, one and a half skull missions there. Those assassinate missions seem to be okay. But with our lack of targeting on our pilots right now, it's really hard to be pulling off these precision strikes to be able to take legs and stuff. So single piece it is, pieces it is for now. Once we have a second lance up and running, we'll be able to split the contracts up between them. So we can do... You know, half one skull missions with the second lance, and then with the first lance, we'll just take all the one and a half two skull missions. We can burn through, you know, systems much quicker that way. Ooh. How many more days to the financial report, and how much do we have? We can get a membership here. Darius demands the first, a first agenda item in the morning briefing. Commander, I've secured an invitation to the black markets here in the periphery. Yang claps Darius on the back. About time. You've been haggling and calling in favors for a month. It was kind of like you enjoyed it, Darius smirks. Who, me? All right, persuading a cowboy crooks. Don't forget the pirates. Your cabal boat is, is in, but your history with your uh, primary customers is setting us, uh, setting our membership fee. Improvements to the Argo aren't getting any cheaper. Surely we can just continue looting what we need. So if we pay the membership fee, you know, may now shop at the black market in various systems. Okay, cool. It's 500,000, but I'm thinking that's probably gonna be worth it. So let's continue. We got enough money for the next financial report. We're good. We're not out of cash. Stop it. Wow. Nice animations. Uh, not yet. We're going to wait till we get fixed up here and then we shall proceed. We got six days left. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. 
Excellent. There we go. All right. Uh, we're not broke. Oh my god, why do you keep saying that? All right, so um, I'm going to hold off looking at the, uh, the store until next episode. Keep you guys in a little bit of suspense. So the next time when we come back, we're going to pull off our contract that we got here. Hopefully it goes quick. It's only a one skull, so it should be relatively fast, I think. Uh, and then maybe we can do a second mission, but I want to have a look at that pirate um, market before we get started. So until next time, I'll see everybody later.